Well, also, right as V Man 1313, and welcome to today's adventure. The goal for this adventure is to make it from the ocean, which you can see right there, all the way to the mountains. We are at Tybee Island, uh, Georgia, just outside of Savannah, Georgia. And we are hopefully going to try to make it all the way to North Carolina, uh, Cherokee, North Carolina, just outside of it. And that's the goal that we're going to do here. A little bit of uh, adventure. So let's see how long it takes. Let's see how much dirt we can find. That's really the big thing. All right, here we go. All right, so our uh, Coast to Crest trail starts here in Tybee Island, Georgia. Right there at the ocean. You can really start it anywhere because we're going to have to hit a pretty good bit of uh, pavement to get to the dirt. But... Tybee Island, thank you very much. Here we go. Alright. Now we slowly turn into Savannah. Which is a hot mess today, every day. <laughs> Hopefully we can get through Savannah rather quickly. I already got stuck in it once today uh, as I was going in down the Tabi for a 5k. So, yeah, not holding my breath, but here it is, down to my right, if you could go down there, take the, the correct road down there, is River Street. I believe it's one way anyway, starting from opposite of where we're going, so you would have to come from that way anyway. dirt road it's a good one I mean it's, you know there's a fine line between off-roading and just dirt roads that you know a Prius can go through and this is definitely just a dirt road that a Prius can go through I'm not looking to rock crawl through here I'm not looking for you know technical roads now it gets a spot where it gets rough a spot where there's some sand a little bit of a difficult spot that's fine but that's not the point of what the roads that I'm trying to create are about my roads are created and again I don't like to I'm, I'm trying my my goal for this year is not to tag things or 
or name things or put a, you know, a, a define things, but I'm out having an adventure and that's it, bottom line. Today I'm just having an adventure and I'm going to create a trail. I'm creating a trail from the coast to the mountains, coast to crest. Um, but, you know, if you're talking about overlanding, in my opinion, you're trying to overland, you're trying to cross as much terrain as possible on as remote roads as possible. And sometimes those roads will be back roads and sometimes you just can't help it you have to jump on the interstate but for me the most of the roads needs to be at least 50 percent dirt that's how i look at it so if i'm not hitting 50 percent of my roads on dirt i'm i'm not really overlanding i'm not really off-roading i'm really not enjoying what it is that i like to do and so that's what we're trying to get to now we started with a really big chunk of pavement to overcome only because I wanted to tie it to the ocean I wanted to get to the ocean but I'm going to make two numbers on this one a number from ocean to mountains but then a number from dirt to the end of dirt from the first dirt to the end of the last dirt that'll be two numbers so we can already subtract 46 miles of pavement to the final number and it's going to make a big deal We've already been on this one for five miles and it's been all dirt and it looks like it keeps going for a pretty good while it's not going to be 46 miles but hopefully we'll make up a good chunk of change back we've been 10 miles on this dirt road and we still got a good while to go <laughs> So that's cool. Looking for camping spots. Um, if I get to a point where I don't see a lot of, not a lot of dirt road, not a lot of off-road, off-pavement, we'll, uh, I'll start trying to adjust that. The goal is 60%. I like 50% minimum. But the ultimate goal is always 60%. So that's what I'm looking for. It's a beautiful day here in Georgia. I don't know if I'm in Georgia or South Carolina right now. I think I'm in Georgia still. Uh, we will cross into South Carolina. This route will go from Georgia into South Carolina into North Carolina. So it'll cover three states to get to the mountains. Somebody asked me, they're like, I, you know, I thought you didn't share files, man. I thought you didn't share roads. Yes and no. <laughs> I don't share places that I feel like potentially could be destroyed because they're so cool that everybody's going to want to go there because it's, you know, it's amazingly awesome. But I will share roads like this that are just public roads that anybody can come drive on that you can find off Google and and anybody can really should be able to find this and you're not you know you're not much destroying anything out here trying to ride on this road it's just like giving you a route saying hey once you make it to a Disney World first you got to take I-4 then you got to take this road and you got you know to me it's no different this is you know these are just regular gravel roads Every so often they'll go through some cool areas and um, what I did, and I know I'm sorry to admit this, but I did on the GAT, the Georgia Adventure Trail that I created, was that I actually uh, detoured around those cool, cool, cool spots that I felt like locals and me personally would not want destroyed. I, we, want, we wouldn't want so many people going through it, going in there messing whatever could mess it up so those spots i uh i actually didn't put on the trails and on this one i'll do the same thing if i find a certain trail or a certain something that's just so amazing that um it doesn't need to be destroyed by anybody 
or it looks like a local place that locals enjoy and, and you know I'm not going to mess it up I'm not going to put it on the map so uh, you know take it as it is I'm really trying to do a, a balance the fact that I'm I'm trying to help other people travel long distances and that's really the goal of this travel long distances on as much dirt as possible and you don't need anything out I mean, you need a two-wheel drive you'll be out here fine so long as it doesn't rain <laughs> because I, that's got to be the disclaimer to everything if it rains don't even you know come out here with four-wheel drive recovery gear bring it all um, Right now, I'm actually contemplating switching to sand. And yeah, do I need four-wheel drive here? No. Uh, this car, this is a 11 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland Edition with a Hemi. Hemi. Um, so it has the four. It has four-wheel drive full-time, four-wheel drive, which is not really, really all-wheel drive full-time. And then once you switch it over to like a sand mode or whatever, you switch it into other modes, then it kind of becomes a more of a four-wheel drive vehicle. And then you can put it in low. You don't have lockers in this, but it has the quarter drive two system, which uses the computer to pretend like it's lockers. And so, you know, not as good as lockers, but I'm not trying to rock crawl. I'm not trying. I don't need lockers for this. I'm actually contemplating putting lockers on my TJ um, and making that a full. Yeah, I can take that one anywhere I want. I can go rock crawl with that Joker. Ooh, what was that? Oh man, the problem here is that no, forget it. <laughs> the problem here is is to stop. You're gonna get so much dust to catch you that. You'll suffocate. Forget it. Look like a jack. Look like a jack in the road. Like a car jack. Um, but yeah, you know, any car can pretty much come out here. And, and what I'm trying to do is give, you know, overlanding. What people want to call overlanding. Not just car camping. Trying to travel and see, you know, this road is the destination. Traveling on this road is the destination of where you're trying to get to what you're trying to do trying to accomplish is go as many miles as you can on dirt roads it's not about how far you go it's how many dirt road miles you cover and that's what i like to do you know and that's not what everybody likes to do um, but that's what i like to do and that's what i'm trying to accomplish with this trail and the georgia adventure trail that's what they are so 